We are living in a strange time when the world is waking up to the fact that we are living in a fabricated reality. Where our history is not matching the evidence being unearthed. What we were taught to believe about the Bible and our past is turning upside down. The leaders and teachers we trusted to tell us the truth about where we came from and where we are going led us astray. The pastors who were supposed to lead the flock to safety are turning out to be Judas and they have sold us out for 30 pieces of silver. The evidence is mounting that Jesus kept his word and returned and reigned for the thousand years period called the millennial reign. We are now living in the period few have ever heard of called Satan's short season. The age of deception. The following evidence you will see is about showing the world how Satan is in his short season and his tactics of deception. Revealing who is working for him and how they do it. Know thy enemy. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill the story ends. You wake up in your bed and you can believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember all I'm offering is the truth. The Matrix. The Matrix was a science fiction movie spawning onto the scene in the late 1990s. The main character Neo has been awakened by freedom fighters living outside his reality. Neo has learned that his entire life has been nothing more than an illusion. He has in reality been cocooned in a pod along with the entire human race. All but a few escaped this enslavement during the great war between man and machine. Neo awakens to find that everything he thought to be real is an illusion. His entire reality has been created for him by a controlling force. Neo learns the planet has been hardwired into a matrix. A mind-melding computer and human-simulated world. Each person lives out their existence believing every taste and thought is their own. When Neo learns the truth of his existence he joins the freedom fighters in a battle to save humanity from the evil matrix. Now, possessing special knowledge given him by the separatist he takes on the of the matrix in. A battle to the death. The reality of what the movie the matrix is really about will come to you is quite a shock. It seems, like it or not, the matrix is your life. Though you are not laying in a pot being controlled by a computer you are being controlled by a matrix. This matrix comes to you in the form of thought control or information control. The movie is not made up of pure fiction. Far from it. What in essence was mockingly being shown to you is your existence. You are in a matrix, a prison of thought that has been created for you. The clothes you wear, the food you eat, the car you drive, the politician you vote for has entirely been pre-programmed. Into your psyche. You are a prisoner. A prisoner who is aware something is wrong but unable to recognize what it is. You have been reprogrammed to live out a lie. Are you ready to awaken from your prison? Reach out your hand. Hey guys, it's Dan from the Sons of Light and the Abundant Life University. And we're talking about a subject today that is growing in popularity and understanding. And it's dealing with the millennial kingdom of Jesus and uh, a thing called Satan's short season of which most Christians have never heard of before. And I grew up most of my life not knowing about this subject. I knew about Satan short season, but I was still of the mindset after many years of being just programmed by this uh, uh, Schofield Bible teacher message of Jesus coming back either for a rapture or for a millennial kingdom <clears throat> in the future. And I was completely led to believe this and some very convincing twisting of scripture to make it happen. And later, as I went on, I began to discover more and more evidence that didn't quite add up, especially the extreme push towards Christian Zionism. And what really led me to start investigating all of this <clears throat> was the connection between the pastors and them on channels, their teachings of false messages, and then their complete, their complete loyalty and pushing constantly of supporting people who are against Christ. The further I got into it, I began to discover that these false pastors were receiving mega donations. You wonder, how did they end up with a giant church? How did they end up with uh, the outreach of a worldwide ministry on channels owned by people who are against Christ? Nobody, nobody would ever put somebody on there if it completely opposes their religion. And these pastors got jets and worldwide ministries and book deals and all of these sorts of things. 
<clears throat> and it didn't make any sense to me. So the further I investigated, I found out about this Schofield Bible, the interjection of this by the agents of Rothschild uh, to get the introduction into the churches, which uh, no one had taught this for 2000 years. In fact, they realized there was a great separation between the religions and ideologies of... And so if you haven't got a copy of this book, Reason to Believe Yet, I suggest you look into it and get a copy. This book is the book that will answer nearly all of your questions regarding putting the pieces of the puzzle together so that you can better understand what's happening. This book, Reason to Believe, if you also uh, decide to get uh, a copy of the formula, this book will be given to you in digital form for your tablet or your computer or your cell phone uh, for free. And you can use the formula to enter in scenarios and get answers from uh, artificial intelligence about things that are going on and possible scenarios of how this would take place, such as geostorms and the possibility of geoengineered storms being a part of what is occurring. And so I suggest uh, if you'd like a free copy of it, uh, get the formula with the link below. Jeez, uh, you your religious teachings makes the Torah, the Old Testament, of no effect. And he called them, he, he called them of your father, the devil, a thousand years. And all of this didn't come about this connection until the 1960s, when the Schofield Bible started to get heavily introduced into the public through the Jesus freak move. The 60s, this counterculture Jesus revolution <clears throat> uh, going against the establishment which was the same exact thing going on with the counterculture revolution of the late 60s, of the free love, the rock and roll music, the draw of this. And it was, everything was being orchestrated. The Church of Satan arose and came about. And as you learn studying heavily into this, you have a huge connection with the destroying of the traditional church and finding uh, governmental organizations involved in the pushing of all of this strange stuff. And when I, from a people group opposing uh, Christian America, most Christians, when confronted by issues such as dark forces or manipulating things, the best they can do is say, it's the devil, it's Satan, which is a cop out because Satan has men and women working for him, physical men and women that make things happen. And what I've come to discover as part of this movement coming out of the 60s of the whole revolution or counterculture was this um, dispensational teachings coming out of this Schofield Bible, which the guy <clears throat> and a false preacher, and the teaching of this millennial kingdom and kingdom to come when uh, the old teachings before this time, most all pastors thought that the Bible was a history book, that most all of the Bible was a history book of things that, have, that had already happened. And what we find is these modern pastors have taken two, four, 5,000 year old historical accounts. We can piece together pretty clearly that this 666 movement with the, with the Antichrist stuff that's going on now, we find Nero nearly matches this completely and the events taking place. But the biggest, the biggest thing with all of this dealing with the millennial kingdom is the fact that Jesus said, some of you standing here will not taste death before you see the Son of Man return. And I believe he said this two or three times, telling the people that were there in different subject matter that they would see this return of Christ during that time. What we are seeing is a pattern going on from fires happening in Malibu, in California, where you see on radar that is released to the public through private individuals, you find that you see things that look like directed energy beams hitting in places, and then fires that melt unusually, melt car tire rims, they melt uh, they melt entire structures to the ground, except the oddity of those with a blue roof. Fire does not skip over homes with blue roofs, brown roofs, red roofs, it just burns everything it can burn. Why would homes with blue roofs get skipped? Why are billionaires owning properties in certain areas in California and in Hawaii, painting their roofs blue. Uh, there's a book called Reason to Believe, uh, and it's dealing with Satan's short season here and how he has deceived the entire world, this entire message for most of my adult life since I was a child believing in these things. <clears throat> and then I learned 
just how in depth through witchcraft, through manipulations of numbers and times and events, through, through the use of uh, media, through the use of movies, uh, how they had implanted messages from the time we were children, coupled with these pastors teaching these false messages. There were books written like the Left Behind series. Uh, there were movies, constant implantations into our mind, which made the entire church believe this so strongly that any other teaching, any other words against this caused cognitive dissonance. And also, we have another book for those of you know, um, this book called Millionaire Mindset, as my picture on the cover, is designed for you because the people that are engineering the types of things in the world that do not want you to succeed have trapped your mind into a certain form of thinking to keep you where you are working nine to five and never being a threat to their corporate control. And our idea is for you to live out the American dream and protect our constitution and freedoms. You can also get a copy of this book in the link below. So thank you very much. But if you can take it, if you want to know what's going on, if you want to know your enemy and be able to fight back against them, if you want to know your enemy and not be fooled for the rest of your life, uh, believing certain subjects, <clears throat> such as the last big event that happened uh, that caused the whole world to shut down and begin to put this into their arms and their bodies, later causing a lot of people to suffer and get sick. And because of my knowledge of this book and the understanding, within 20 minutes of this information coming out a couple of years ago, I knew what was happening. Oh, There's something evil behind it. And more and more and more, yes, it was a evil event. Just like all of these events that have been taking place for many years, many years ago, the uh, persecuted and the government threatened and people ridiculed someone who said, I saw a UFO or I got abducted. And then just a couple years ago, the Navy comes out and the U.S. government comes out and said, oh, yeah, there's there's UFOs. Guess what? Wow, they're real. And uh, we've encountered uh, different beings. And yes, there are people willing to do very dark agendas and work for Satan for money and different aspects during this lifetime. So I wanna encourage you, <clears throat> if you wanna know the truth, I mean, in-depth research, we're going back 20 years, along with photos to prove the statements in there, uh, numerology things showing how the numbers they use to manipulate things were used to change our way of life. So if you can hack it, you wanna know the truth, you want to not be fooled any longer. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge if you want knowledge about this millennial kingdom thing, this Satan's short season and the deception going on, it is information you do not know. Even, even in-depth conspiracy theorists do not know all of this information. But it's something as a Christian and knowing your enemy and able to fight in order to be able to fight against and call out subjects, you need to know this. You need to know this information. This is Daniel from the Sons of Light and the Abundant Life University. You are going to be amazed, you're going to be shocked, but you won't be fooled ever again in your life. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a headline and thought, there's got to be more to this? Everybody has, and nowadays especially. What if you could dig a little deeper into it and find out stuff nobody's talking about? So here's the deal. I've got this formula I created, and it's been back engineered based off of how, let's say, secret people create scenarios for you to follow. It's kind of like your own personal conspiracy scriptwriter. You take any mainstream story, you plug it in, and boom, it spits out an alternative explanation that's so spot on, you might start to question reality yourself. Now, here's where it gets fun. When you combine it with AI, it's like having a superpower. You can whip up these crazy X-file level theories in just seconds. Use it for blog posts, use it for podcasts, you can use it for videos, or just to mess with your own head. The best part is, it's so good, it might even convince your woke friend. Ha! Maybe. But look, it's all for entertainment, mostly. So if you're curious, if, you're like, if you like to live outside the box, or if you just want to see what they may not want you to see, you can check it out below. It is what we use for most of our alternative theories in our podcast and our videos, because it is the formula that 
possibly someone uses to pull the wool over the world's eyes. You're going to love this formula. Get it in the link below. You get a video that comes along with the training and proof behind it, as well as your own copy to use to become like Sherlock Holmes for all the things that you question and want answers about. It's a lot of fun, and it answers a lot of serious questions you've been wondering about. <music>